and welcome back. My name is Ravina Adam and I'm speaking to you all from lovely Toronto. Hi, I'm David Pollandon and I'm speaking to you from Winnipeg. And we have a very special guest for you here today, Malu. Hi, I am Malu and I work with David and Ravina for the IGM Development Growth Theme. It's lovely to be here. Thank you, Malu. IGM is protecting people from violence and slavery in three ways during this COVID-19 pandemic. First of all, with an immediate response, and that's helping people now affected by COVID-19. Secondly, with a near-term response, and that's the continuation of doing rescues and restoring victims of violence. And thirdly, a long-term response, and that's our ongoing partnerships with governments and other partners in the regions. For our immediate response, we would like to speak to you about what IGM is doing to help people who are affected with COVID-19 now. But we don't have a lead story this time for you, but what we want to share with you is the link between climate change and modern day slavery and how both of them, when they come together, have the same impact that we saw during the pandemic. Did you know that climate change increases people's vulnerability into exploitation, human trafficking and slavery? Climate-induced forced migration is such a huge risk for people who are poor or who fall into the vulnerable sector simply because they are forced to leave their homes and the areas of work. And in this journey, when they leave one community or one area or one country and move to the other, it's an easy trap for the traffickers and for the middlemen to lure them into the business of human trafficking. The World Bank has predicted that by 2050, there would be for about 143 million people who would uh, migrate within their own boundaries, within their own borders, taking only three regions of the world into consideration. The same World Bank has also said that there would be 130 million people who would be pushed to fall poverty by 2030. The issue is complex, but the government needs to realize that climate change and modern slavery are linked in some way and then they must address this together. An integrated social, economic and environmental response is needed to see that we build the resilience of the vulnerable and see that protection is ensured for all of them. Thank you, Ravina. Well, just as with the COVID-19, climate change can act as a trigger to put in motion the movement of people to look for better work and living conditions that in turn will make them more vulnerable to traffickers and of course create the need for the basic necessities of life. So for our near-term response, we're going to South Asia. 11 people, including four children, were brought to safety from bonded labour thanks to a collaborative effort involving IGM and partners in South Asia. The children, who were between 7 and 13 years old, were forced to work alongside their parents at the brick kiln and forced to sleep in crude shacks made of tin sheets. Thanks to IGM's partner, these families are now officially safe. Each person has received an official release certificate, cancelling the false debts that bound them to the owner. The families are now resettling in their hometowns and IGM's partner is continuing to support their rehabilitation. Meanwhile, district authorities in South Asia are working on filing a report against the brick kiln owner or to hold him to account for bonded labour and the abuses the families had suffered. Thank you, David, for this amazing story that you brought up today. Finally, for a long-term response, that is partnering with governments to protect the poor from violence and slavery. For this, we are going to a special virtual trip to the Philippines, which IGM Canada Development Growth Team are running. On Wednesday, November 17th, we took part in an unforgettable experience as we joined partners from across the country on a virtual trip to IJM Philippines. Together, we celebrated the crucial work being done to put an end to the online sexual exploitation of children. This trip was a rare opportunity to experience the frontline work of IJM like never before without even leaving our homes. Participants receive an experience kit filled with fun activities and resources that help people feel connected with a field experience. The event was hosted by IJM's attorney, Kathy, who also shared with us some stunning sceneries as we flew across some of the Towson Islands 
in the Philippines, and she brought us to her favorite landmarks. We will repeat this trip in the spring and look forward to visiting another field office next fall. Well, thank you again for tuning in to this COVID-19 update from IGN Canada. If you've liked anything you heard, please click the like button and feel free to comment as well and we can have a two-way conversation. If you want to contact me just to find out about the work of IGM or the, if you've got any questions, then do reach out to me on dpollandine at igm.ca and I'd be happy to answer your questions. God bless. Take care until we meet again. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Paalam po.